Okay, so this one's about love. <laughs> Good old love. Um, I mean, there are so many perspectives on this. It's just... Um, it's a minefield, but... I want to share my perspective on love because... Um, it's probably a perspective you haven't heard before. And so the first myth I want to break, really, um, and again, this is my truth. When I say things like the, the ultimate truth, I'm always speaking about my truth because there is really no ultimate truth. It, but it's that... You cannot give someone love. It's impossible. It is impossible to give love to someone. All you can do is uh, provide for them in a way that meets their needs. And that act may or may not evoke love from within them. So this is a, this is a huge misnomer in terms of People thinking that love is something that is given. It's not. It's it's a feeling that is evoked from within us. And that comes when we allow someone else to express their nature. You see, because the nature of the universe is such that there is no... Um, there's no real time or in space between what what we would call asking and then for that thing being given. Because in the absence of resistance, there is no space between that moment. There is just, I am this. <laughs> I am that. And so... What that means is that if everyone was following their nature and they had no resistance to expressing that nature, then we would be receiving from it what we think is receiving love all the time. But what we would actually be doing is just becoming more of, of a being that is experiencing love. It cannot be given. It cannot be given. It's, it's, again, to use that metaphor of an ecosystem that thrives the most because of the diversity and the, the uniqueness of each uh, living being within that ecosystem. It's because of how different they are. The spectrum of difference is so wide. that because it's so diverse, it enables it to be so diverse and everything within it thrives. You have these incredibly complex interdependencies, but none of them exist and express their nature into the world in order to enable another one to thrive. They're just being a tree. They're just being a plant. They're just being an insect. And all they are aware of is being what they are. And then thriving just magically happens as a result of them following their unique nature. Yet everything is flourishing. Everything is thriving. Everything's accessing in everything it needs in order to thrive, becoming more and more of what it has the potential to become. Everything evolving, because it can access what it needs in order to thrive. It's the same with love. If you have, a, if you have two human beings that would consider themselves to be in love, and one person feels as though the other one isn't giving them enough love. 
it is absolutely nothing to do with that person because they're just following their nature. They're just following their nature. And so if the person that is wanting to receive more love from that person, if they were capable of that love arising within them, then that person would just be part of their experience, mirroring it to them. And, and the nature of that person that they're wanting to receive love from, their nature would arise to express themselves in a way that would evoke that feeling within the other person, you see. That's why it's so, so important to never withhold our nature, to never hold back the, our true nature because by expressing our true nature, it's enabling the people around us to thrive. By expressing our unique nature, it means that everyone gets taken care of. Just like the ecosystem, with all of its diversity and interdependency, everything following its nature, everything just thrives. They're not trying to take care of each other. They're not trying to love each other. They're just being what they are. It's the only real way human beings will ever truly thrive as a species is when we figure out how to just be what we are and to become more and more of what we have the potential to become. Then everyone will just get magically taken care of. All of a sudden, unmet pockets of unmet need, tiny little micro niches of micro niches of micro niches are getting taken care of because of the uniqueness of everyone. You know, if you were into um, yoga, for example, instead of just going to a yoga class, you would go to a, a yoga class that had a, a really focused vertical market, like, you know, yoga, <coughs> yoga instruction just for Chinese-speaking expatriates from this country on Thursdays who are all five feet tall <laughs> and vegan. <laughs> you see? That's how we experience diversity. That's how we experience thriving. And this is how we enable each other to thrive is, is by that uniqueness. And I've used the, the bamboo metaphor before with the panda. And there's only one species of bamboo that it's capable of, well, that it will eat. And it just means we can keep feeding the panda by making sure our uniqueness is accessible, by making sure the bamboo is accessible by the panda which means it has to be visible. We have to express it. And so the point I'm making is, love is a feeling that's evoked. It's evoked from within us. You can, you can only truly give love to yourself because it arises from within you and you just experience it. <laughs> People cannot give you love. They cannot give you love. They can only, through following their nature, they're not trying to love you. This is what you need to understand. When you feel love, they're not in, an, in the act of trying to love you or show you love. Although some people feign it, of course. I'm going to try and, sh try and give you love or I'm going to try and show you love. It's just inauthentic. Love just arises. And it only ever truly arises when someone is expressing their true nature. And, it, and when they're doing that, when they're in the act of expressing their true nature, their intention is not to give you love or to show you love. They're expressing a feeling within them. The feeling is evoked within them and they're expressing that. It's not about what, it's, they're not attempting to give you something. They're not trying to make you thrive. They're just expressing their nature. They're just being who they are. And that evoked a feeling within you. This is what love is. 
So self-love. <laughs> uh, it's just so simple. Follow your nature. Follow your nature. You feel a feeling. You allow it to arise. You express it. That's it. <laughs> you feel it. You allow it. You express it. It's like the way I'm speaking on this podcast. Like, I don't really know what I'm going to talk about before I start talking, but I can feel there's energy within me that wants to be expressed. I'm not, I'm not searching for words. I'm using my words to carry the feeling that is inside me because I trust what's coming out. It's almost as though I'm hearing it for the first time. Like it doesn't happen in my head before I say it. I'm just allowing myself to, what, it, what this feeling that I'm having within my body, I'm allowing myself to express it. I'm just following my nature. I'm not thinking about who it could impact. I'm not thinking about who could this be for, or, you know, will that please the person that's going to be listening to it? Is it going to trigger someone? I am entirely unconcerned with that. I'm only concerned with expressing my nature. And that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and this is how we thrive. This is how we love ourselves. We just express our nature. We don't try and please someone else. <laughs> Imagine that in the in the forest. <laughs> this ecosystem that is thriving better than any other ecosystem on the planet. And each species is just trying to please the other one. Are you happy with that? That does it please you that I'm an anteater and that you're an ant? <laughs> no. It just thrives. And it's the same with human beings. You know, we get I mean how many of us have been in relationships and you know, the other person's trying to get more from you. They're trying to get you to give them more. And this needy energy kicks in and you can just feel it. You can feel them willing you on to give them something that they can't even name themselves. They think it's words. Like they think that if you tell them that you love them, then that that's going to hit the spot or that maybe if you, um, I don't know, buy them flowers or did some, some act of love, but it, it actually doesn't matter. You can do those things relentlessly. But because you're doing it to try and make them feel loved, it never hits the spot. Never. It might be like, oh, that's nice. Thank you. Oh, thanks. But it doesn't hit the spot. It doesn't fill the cup. It's just uh, pleasantries. It's, you know, it's like being seen to be giving someone love. There's some flowers. Oh, there I took the rubbish out. Oh, there I, I did the dishes. That's not love. That has nothing to do with love. <laughs> oh, I went to the supermarket for you <laughs> oh I filled the car up with gas <laughs> that's not love that's not love love is evoked from within it's evoked from within it's a feeling we feel inside ourselves and it can come from anything it could come from seeing a rabbit out on the lawn and pointing at it, and there's a child next to you. Hey, look at that. That's love. You share a moment of being with each other. And something unexpected happens. And within both of you, you share that moment. And love is evoked in the moment. And your cup just overflows. 
That's love. You just follow your own nature spontaneously in the moment. Oh, look at that rabbit. And the delight on the child's face. Oh, so many questions. Never seen a rabbit before. And you share this moment of wonder and you can just feel it. I can feel it right now. <laughs> That's love. That's love. We think we would feel more loved if our partner, not that I have a partner, but if our partner would do more around the house or consider us more than what they do now. But that will just, it will never happen because it's a feeling that's not being evoked within you. And so either you're withholding your own nature, you're withholding yourself so that your energy can't be felt by your partner um, or, or something deeper. But um, the most common one I've come across is, uh, you know, in people who are, who've got that needy energy of needing you to give them more, needing you to make them feel loved needing more, 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 more is that the pattern I've found is that those people um, are the worst at withholding their nature, always withholding their nature, considering what they're saying before they say it, not trusting uh, that, you know, trying to please people, um, you know, uh, struggle to express their desires, struggle to um, convey what it is they really want to the people around them. And so, you know, you often have people trying to meet their needs, but it also never hits the spot because the desire has never been properly expressed. So repressed desires are another one. But, I mean, there's a myriad of things, and, you know, most of us have got these things within us. Um, but the, I, I do see a pattern in people who withhold themselves, who withhold their nature, that they're always seeking more from someone else. But it's actually what they're not giving themselves, and that is permission to follow their nature, to express their truth. You know, it's a liberating feeling being able to feel the desire to express yourself and to just allow it <laughs> without worrying about political correctness, whether you're going to trigger someone, is this going to please this person, am I going to look like a dick if I say it? <laughs> I mean, think of all the scenarios. What will they think? You know, imagine the freedom in that, just being able to express yourself and trust your own nature trust it so much that you know that whatever you're going to be going to say is it because you're following your nature is going to enable the people around you who experience that expression of your energy of your love actually that they're going to experience it in a way that's going to elevate them that's going to enable them to thrive because they're part of the ecosystem and because you're just following your nature it's enabling them to thrive in some magical way because of how you're expressing your nature into that ecosystem. So, you probably haven't heard that before, that perspective. I've certainly never met anyone else that has that perspective, but that's my perspective. That's how I experience it within myself. Um, and that's how I've been able to get myself to a point where there's no... I don't feel a void or a space or a gap uh, when uh, people withdraw the energy. You know, I used to have this uh, this feeling of um, you know being abandoned or fear of being abandoned or rejected or but when when there's someone I truly love, um, even if they're expressing you know, evil to me. The only thing I care about is that if I feel love for them, I'm free to express that in my way. 
you know, they, they could be screaming in my face and saying, don't contact me, I don't want you to talk to me. But if I feel the desire to talk to them or to uh, send them a message or whatever it may be, I'm always going to follow that nature. You know, even if they say, I don't want to hear from you, I still follow my nature. So, you know, there's... A, there's and that, from my perspective, this is what I believe. No one has the right to ever tell you to withhold your nature. Even to the point where they're saying, listen, you know, let's say it's someone you email on a regular basis. And you have an argument and they don't want to hear from you for a while. Or you've done something to annoy them. They don't want to hear from you at the moment. <laughs> And they say, don't send me any emails. Well, you, ca you can't actually do that. You can't ask someone to withhold their nature. What you can do is if so they send you an email, just delete it. Perfectly fine. You don't have to receive that, but you cannot ask them not to express it. And um, because you're asking them to withhold their nature. And nature just arises. So, um, yeah, just some just some things I've learnt along the way, some things I've observed about myself and the people around me, and um, you know, really helped me a lot in understanding the nature of love, you know, of of actual love. You know, I'm not talking about that romantic soppy stuff and and romantic comedies. You know, that's, you know, more like infatuation or, um, you know, finer frequencies of um, emotion, you know, like affection and intimacy. But, yeah, love. Love is unmistakable because it's evoked from within you and it's the sensation of your cup flowing over. And... Um, you can get that from absolutely any, you know, any un unexpected way. But it's always when someone's following their nature. Ne it's never when they're trying to please you or try to make you feel loved because you cannot make someone feel loved. And you can't, you, you can't even be part of someone's experience um, in a loving way if that person is... Uh, withholding their nature they will never feel their cup running over because of how intensely they're withholding their nature and um yeah it's sad but it's um yeah i mean it's really sad my hope is that every human being is able to get into it i mean this is why i'm so passionate about the topic in, in this podcast channel and the, um, you know, it's it's very focused and that it's about nature arising, allowing our nature to arise. Because so much is bundled up in it. Our own fulfillment, our own joy, love, self-love, everyone thriving. <laughs> it, you know, it's the key to so much. And if we can just, you know, if we were able to collectively focus on just this one thing, just this one thing, bring it into our schools, bring it into the workplace, bring it into society, bring it into our own lives and just commit to that. You know, just commit to ourselves. The, the transformation that would take place in the world would be extraordinary. It would be extraordinary. And the impact that would have on people's capacity to thrive would just be immense. So, hence these <laughs> these podcasts. Okay, that feels like the right place to leave that. <laughs> it's a huge topic, obviously, but from my perspective, the reality is that it's actually very simple. Um, follow your nature and allow others to follow theirs. Okay, that's it for now. Cheers. <laughs>